Um. Hello everybody, welcome to Bruda Games. I am Big Bruda and today we are playing Pokemon Showdown. Now, you guys, you guys know I play the cat metagame and today we are doing a battle against someone named C. V. Leon. I, I think that's his name. I, I, I don't know for sure. I'm sorry if you're watching this and I'm saying your name wrong, I'm sorry. But um, yeah. Um, it was a battle which I just, I did really well, and so I'm going to post it, and so yeah. Um, my team did, I used a completely different team though, and it's kind of um, an older team that I've revamped for more modern battles. However, with that said, I did make a mistake on it, so in the battle you'll see that um, my Talon Flame doesn't have Gale Wings like it should. It has Flame Body, which really is lack. But it, it helps me in the battle, so well, it's just funny. Um, anyways, my team consists of Volkraken right here, who is a very powerful um, special attacker who can run Scarf set pretty well and discourages switches. You can also just run slow, powerful, like new. But yeah, I'm running him as a Scarfer that punishes switches. So yeah, and then Tomahawk, usual Tomahawk set. Only thing I have different is um, instead of Haze, I have Baton Pass. I did this because of, um, I didn't want to run Shed Shell on this, and so, I thought if I have a Talon Pass, I can switch Call of Sword on so, yeah. I'm running Latios here because as a Psychic type, it's quite good in this kind of game. Dragon lets it hit, um, Cycle Helm, and Psychic lets it beat Tomahawk, so it has good coverage there, but I'm not running any Psychic moves or Dragon moves, I'm running Ice and Thunder. Because those have really good coverage, and Ice has great coverage in this metagame. So, I have that in Calmite and Roost. It's not defogging at all. I have um, my Tomahawk to spin away stuff. So, I don't really think like, defog is needed. Um, then I have right here is my Colossoil, Oil. And my Colossoil Oil is running the usual set, except that it's not running Rapid Spin or U-Turn. It's running Pursuit, Knockoff, Earthquake, and Sucker Punch. It's running the usual EVs, and has Salt Vest, and running Guts. Because it's just a safer bet. Rebound is better, but oh well. Um, then I have Kitsona here. Kitsona is a very good scout. Remember, like I said last time, in the, I think it was the last battle I did with Tomox. Um, this one's running Limber, though, because Limber's better than uh, Risk. Um, it's running No Fake Out this time. It's running Trick, Ice Punch, Iron Head, and Shadow Strike. Um, it's adamant because it's scarped, so might as well get it as much amount of power it can have. And then I have right here my Talon Flame, and this is the issue. It has Flame Body. You should definitely have Gale Wings. Uh, yeah, it's otherwise running um, the usual um, Sword Dance Talon Flame set. However, it's not running Flare Blitz. I replaced it with Taunt because in this metagame, Clefable is a serious thing. And so with Taunt, uh, it can shut down Clefable and set up on it. Even though it doesn't really do any extra damage to Clefable because it's unaware, um, it still allows you to three hit kick. Is it three or two? I think it's three or two. Either way, um, taunting it allows it not to get healing off, and so I can three hit KO it and have priority roost afterwards, so I can always deal with it. And if I set up a bit beforehand, once it dies, I have huge amounts of momentum and can wipe through the rest of the team. That was the point of the set, and it looks pretty good to me. Um, so yeah, that's the team. So let's get straight to the battle. Okay, so I directly sent in my Volkraken just to try, because it has pretty good damage to the rest of his team. He sends in his superior, which is perfect for me. I get a Fire Blast off, which one-shots this thing. As I'm Scarfed, I outspeed pretty much anything he throws in. Sends in his Stratagem, now who could revenge kill me? So I switch out. Um, I bring in my Call of Soil, because he can deal with pretty much anything he has, and he runs Mud Slap. Oh, Mud Slap is just, um, and he runs Acupressure. This is just like a weird set. And I'm just glad that this happened good for me. I was able to sucker punch and knock off him, which kept hit me being, being swept from a weird ass set, luckily. Um, then he sends in this, which I get a knockoff on and does humongous damage to this thing. He does a tail glow, and I decided just to spam sucker punch to this thing dies. It's gonna continue to tail glow, but it doesn't matter to me, because I have sucker punch. And as long as he fails to do this, I can just sucker punch all the way. However, I expect him to keep doing this, thinking I'm going to go all the way for Sucker Punch, and I don't. I go for Knockoff. 
And that means I get a kill right now. Yep, there we go. And now it's dead, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. And now he's three mons down, and I haven't lost a single one yet. Then we switches in his Malconda, and Malconda is a special defensive tank and has pretty decent attack. So I have to switch out immediately. I bring in my Tomahawk, who is able to take in anything this has. Air Slash does a decent amount of damage, but not enough, and he goes for a power up, which does a, a surprising chunk. Actually, no, it doesn't. I was lied. It did nothing. Anyways, I knew he could just wall me, though, with Citrus Berry. So, I switch into my Talent Flame, and at this point, I know I can beat this thing. Um, so, I directly go for my Swords Dance right away. Now, at this point, I forgot that I don't have Gale Wings, but luckily, I am faster than this thing, so I'm able to get a Roost up. And that was perfect for me. He goes for a knockoff, knocks me back down, and I just keep roosting here, trying to get myself back up, because I am gaining ground very slightly, which is enough for me to get this. And so I get another roost off, and he goes for a knockoff again, and this time he gets a burn, right? Yep, he gets a burn. And now the flame body coming into work, which it wasn't supposed to, but either way, it doesn't matter. I get a roost off again, and now he's burned, and so he goes for a run of therapy, which gives me a free turn to get my roost up, and so I can go straight for a brave bird now, and it one-shots his hot lucha, right? Yep, a one-shotted Halucha, and that's the amazing thing about this town flame is that, oh, once it sets up, it's good. Anyways, um, I go for a Brave Bird, and I do not kill Mollocks all the way, but he goes for Rainy Dance, which is like, he could have killed my town flame, but no, he chose not to. He decided to go for that, so I get to kill his Mollocks, and then guess what happens? I get to kill this thing with the Brave Bird, so, yeah. It was like really easy. It, I killed myself too, but um, yeah. Um, this team that I went against, it needs some work. Not the rest of the team's actually pretty good. Um, Malaconda said it's fine. Um, it needs a little bit more support, specifically since Malaconda is a rain, not rain, sun. Why did I say rain? Um, Malaconda uses the sun, and they're using rain, so it's kind of weird. Um, Molex, um, should definitely not try to run rain right away, especially if it's in two hit KO range. Um, at plus two, Talent Flame can one shot a lot of things, so trying to set up a rain dance, I really don't get. Um, Stratagem set, Acupressure, and Mud Slap needs to be rethought. Um, that really, the team isn't that bad, um, but that stratagem, wow, I'm sorry, that stratagem, you really need to work on that dude. Um, other than that, the team was in all caps, which is a usual beginner mistake, and so, he did pretty good. My team obliterated him, but, um, yeah. So, everybody, thanks for watching, and... By the way, my hair, if you're wondering why this is, because I'm not wearing a hat and it's not done nice, it just looks ugly. Because people in the Cap Showdown room decided that I should have no hat. Uh, yeah. I I'm probably not going to listen to them again. Because I could have worn this and been like, just regular. But no, I had to wear this. It's scary. Until next time, rock your life!